it's intended to um, uh, be friendly, of course, um, <laughs> and uh, navigate through a world uh, built for humans and uh, eliminate dangerous, repetitive, and boring tasks. Um, we're setting it such that it is, um, at a mechanical level, at a physical level, uh, you can run away from it. Um, <laughs> And, and most likely overpower it. <laughs> so uh, hopefully that doesn't ever happen, but um, you never know. So it's, uh, it'll be a, you know, a light, a, a light yeah, anyway, five miles an hour. You can, if you can get run faster than that, it'll be fine. <laughs> um, so yeah, it's, it's uh, around, around uh, five foot eight, um, uh, has sort of a, a screen where the head is for useful information, um, but it's otherwise basically got the autopilot system in it, so it's uh, got cameras, got eight cameras, and um, yeah. Uh, full self driving computer, and making use of all of the same tools that we use in the car. So, um, I mean, things that I think that are really hard about. Uh, having a useful humanoid robot is, can it navigate through the world without being explicitly trained? Uh, I mean, can, without explicit, like, line-by-line uh, -line instructions. Um, can, you, can you talk to it and say, you know, please uh, pick up that bolt uh, and uh, attach it to the car with that wrench, and it should be able to do that. Um, it should be able to, you know, please, you know, please go to the store and get me the following groceries, um, that kind of thing. So, yeah, I think we can do that.